Keep coming and welcome to Order Shot Town. Cheers. Can you tell us how, how the deal came about? We, we saw you on Friday night against, against QPR on trial. Where does that fit in the process? Um, like basically, my uh, agent told me that Gary was interested and uh, I think he's known about me for a year or so um, through previous clubs and things like that. So um, I was happy to come down and play, play a game on Friday and uh, thought it went well, so happy. Clearly Gary was impressed with your performance. Did you feel you'd, you'd done well? I wouldn't say I did well. Uh, it was a first. It was a first pre-season game. It was typical what what you were going to get out of it. Um, I was impressed with the other lads, and I thought that there's a good team here, um, and I was I was excited to get to start to be a part of that. So it was good. And that's presumably a part of, of why you're here. What has what has Gary told you? How has he sold Aldershot Town to you? He wants. Uh, I think he wants a young, energetic team. Um, he's got a lot of like, aspirations. I think. Uh, and um, I'm, I'm just excited. I think it's, it, it seems like a really good place and I think Gary and uh, James have, have sold it to me easily and uh, they're really easily to get on with. So um, it was, it was a no-brainer for me really to come in. It was, uh, I'm happy. Excellent. And we'd have seen it on Friday. A, a box-to-box -box midfielder maybe is, is the shorthand for your style. How, how would you describe yourself? What qualities do you bring to the squad? Uh, yeah, I... I think I am a box to box. I want to be a box to box midfielder. I think uh, I've got to get a lot. I'm far from that at the moment. I've got to get a lot fitter. Um, we've um, not played for a long time from injuries and things like that. So, uh, but when I'm in my peak, I think that's that's what I want to be uh, definitely. So, just want to get back to that really. Um, but I wasn't that on keep, uh, keep against QPR. No way. <laughs> well, <laughs> as, you say, as you say, it <laughs> was the first of July. <laughs> we can't expect too much, but. You've, you've clearly got a good pedigree coming out of the Wolverhampton Wanderers Academy. You feel you're ready to make the step up yeah. out of the academy structure into senior football? Yeah, I think uh, for me it's come it's come a bit too late, really. I would have liked to have done this two years ago or maybe even before that. Um, and for whatever reason, down to myself and a bit of bad luck and things like that, it's not really worked out. But I'm just glad, glad that it's started to get itself sorted out, really. Um, yeah. So you, you're hungry to yeah. make up for lost time? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I think that was a massive thing for me to sort of overcome, the, uh, the sort of getting knocked down about like not being able to do that when I was younger and now I'm able to, I just want to get started and get yeah. the first game out of the way and get the season done. Yeah. 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 Is, is there a difference between development football and senior football in the, yeah. the competition, the, the way it's results oriented that there's not, that maybe it's that development football in a good way exists in something of a bubble but yeah. in men's football you're exposed to the harsh realities. Yeah, there's a, there's a massive, massive difference. Um, I think uh, for one, I don't think there's enough league games in the reserves football or t under 21s football. Um, it can sometimes be not very competitive, compared, especially compared to men's football. I mean, like, it's because people are people need to sort of provide for their family in men men's football and twenty ones. Like you say, it's a it is a bit of a bubble situation, um, which is another thing. You know, why I was a bit disappointed I didn't get out of that quicker. Um, but like I say, I'm just just happy to sort of get my head down and start playing men's football. And that's that's a challenge you're ready for. You're yeah, you're definitely. you're looking to prove yourself in that level. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. How's pre-season's only four days old? Yeah. How how have you enjoyed pre-season? Is it something yeah. that you do enjoy, or is it a bit of an endurance? I wouldn't say anyone enjoys pre-season, but uh, no, it's been it's been good here. It's been positive, and that's the main thing. And I think there's been a lot of football, um, so I've been happy with it. But there's no easy way through pre-season. It's going to be difficult, no matter no matter what you do. So yeah. just get it out of the way. <laughs> but, but it's not just your career. You've the first time you were in order shop was on Friday night. Yeah. You've now you've now made the move down here. It's a big move for a, a twenty one year old looking to kind of moving your your whole life down from from Wolverhampton to order shop. I mean, because I haven't had that breakthrough in the last few years. I think for me personally, I just wanted to get away from everything that I know, um, put myself in a bit of an uncomfortable situation, and just grow up and deal with it really um, and I'm ready for that like I said you know, I want to get started and 
exactly that. You're, you're excited to get started to yeah. be part of a, a new era at the club yeah, and I can't wait. an excited new team. Yeah, definitely. They seem like a b good bunch of lads. Um, obviously, it's a new. I think there's quite a, a lot of new players, so it will take a little bit of time to structure together. But from what I can see, there's there's a really good, strong bunch of lads here. So, yeah. Get, well, get in the mix with them. Great. We're looking forward to you being a part of that. Welcome, Jim Kellerman. Cheers. Thank you.